Hey guys, happy Surgical Sunday. My name is Brenda, owner of Zackel & Associates Legal Nurse Consultants. Today, you will learn about perioperative specimen errors, the possible consequences of these errors, and recommendations for specimen management established by the AORN. The results of routine specimen collection and lab tests affect patient care. When a specimen error occurs, doctors may misdiagnose patients or implement the wrong treatment plan, which may lead to physical and psychological injury and patients needing additional surgery. A simple mistake can cause devastating consequences. Most errors are due to slips and lapses. Slips are unintended actions, such as incorrectly labeling a specimen. Lapses are omissions of intended actions, things that were meant to be done but didn't happen, such as omitting the last letter of a patient's name and writing Smith instead of Smith with an E. It's important to establish if the hospital has initiatives in place to improve specimen handling. These include electronic nursing documentation to eliminate legibility errors related to paper requisitions, a web-based resource tool with specimen processing information and a specimen hotline that laboratory staff answer during the evening, overnight, and holidays to address specimen handling questions. Imagine this real-life scenario. A woman in her 20s was told she had breast cancer, given the results of her right breast biopsy. Treatment included six rounds of chemo, followed by a mastectomy of her right breast. Because of this, she received extensive but unnecessary treatment because the defendant lab misinterpreted her breast biopsy as positive for breast cancer. After the mastectomy, the doctors found no cancer in the removed breast tissue or lymph nodes. Further testing of the slides from her first breast biopsy revealed that the tissue upon which her diagnosis and treatment were based was not hers, but was from another woman who actually had breast cancer. Due to the defendant's negligence and concealment of this error, the plaintiff experienced pain, mental torment, and disfigurement from the mastectomy. On top of this, the chemo damaged her ovaries, and now she will have difficulty getting pregnant. The following are a few AORN guidelines for specimen management. For breast cancer specimens, the time of excision and time of fixation should be documented. Also, the time from excision to fixation should be less than one hour. Fixation meaning the solution the specimen is placed in to preserve the tissue. As that specimen is excised, there is a reduction of blood flow to the tissue, which leads to hypoxia, and the tissue starts to degrade. So when this happens, there are molecular changes that occur that can negatively affect the accuracy of the examination of the sample. But these changes stop when the fixation process begins. Another recommendation is that the surgeon and RN circulator use a write-down, read-back method. They confirm the specimen identification verbally and document it accurately, legibly, and completely. The label must include two unique patient identifiers and a specimen description. Additionally, at the end of the procedure, specimens should be verified among all the staff in the OR during the debriefing. From my experience working with different EMR systems, this is charted in the intraoperative record. Has your client suffered because of a diagnostic mistake, either from a doctor's malpractice or negligence by a lab technician? A certified perioperative nurse can help you thoroughly investigate the situation and locate a reputable expert for your case. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to not miss any future videos. This is Brenda Zackel, bridging the connection between medicine and law.